Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It is Madeline. So if you couldn't tell by the title, I am going to be reviewing the new Urban Decay foundation. So what's funny is I've actually had this sitting in my room for the past like week or so, and I've just kind of been staring at it, finding some time to do it. If you guys know, being in college is no joke. Finals are just around the corner. So if you're a student, go ahead and comment down below, or if you're at uni, this video. So this is what I received. I got so excited. A huge thank you to Urban Decay for sending me this. What's so cool about it is I actually received it before they actually launched it in stores. So a lot of creators are able to play with it and kind of get a sneak preview, which is always really fun, especially when it's makeup. Hello. And how freaking cute is the packaging? If there wasn't a better way to advertise whatever you were selling, this is the perfect way. This is key. It's a big foundation box. So let's go ahead and open it. So I already opened it, but still. I am actually currently wearing the clips that came with the PR and I'm honestly obsessed with it. I love the clips. I love the color purple. It's actually my favorite, so. Thank you, Urban. So when you first open it, we have quite a few things going on. First things first, we have a little pamphlet. This is to introduce the new foundation. Again, this is their new Face Bond Triple Power Foundation. And this is a picture of it right at the front. As you can see, one of the first places you could have got it is at Sephora. So what's really cool about this foundation is they have six different undertones and they actually came out with 40 shades. 40 shades! So it's a 24 hour wear foundation that's waterproofed as advertised and it's supposed to be lightweight while still giving you a full coverage. Now, if you guys know, for the longest time I had been looking for a new foundation as my favorite foundation has recently been discontinued. A couple other things. It is medium but buildable coverage. It's a can't feel foundation, which is the best and it has 3% niacinamide. I think I said that right. I think the most popular, most popular thing that I've heard and tip about this specific foundation is it's self setting. So it's more on the matte side so it's going to give you a natural matte finish while setting itself now for those of you who aren't familiar i would love to skip the setting powder any day so if i can do that with the foundation and skip a couple steps by all means so this is the back there are actually three ways to apply this. Now, for me in this video, I applied it with a full coverage because I do have plans tonight. But if you guys are curious and you guys are new to my channel, I highly suggest that you follow me on all of my other social media platforms at Madeline Rose Young. The first way that they tell you to apply this if you're looking for more of light coverage is applying it with a sponge. They did come with a sponge. It's a purple sponge on theme, of course. And that is going to give you more of a light coverage. Now, of course, you can always build upon it while adding other layers. And then the next thing would be medium coverage finish. This is going to be with a brush. I presume any dense brush will do. I preferably love good kabuki brush. And lastly, if you're looking for more of a fuller coverage finish, applying with your hands. In the video, I actually show you while I'm applying with my hands. And honestly, at first I was a little hesitant because I do feel like a lot of the times it transfers onto my fingers. I did not have this problem. I felt like more of the product sat on my skin versus on my fingers. This was only to test and fully dedicated to Urban Decay's foundation. I did not use or show any other products that I did use. A couple other things that I noticed from other videos is that people did talk about how applying any cream or contour or any kind of other like dewier concealers had to be set or blended in that second because of the self-setting effect. I did not have that problem. I don't know if it's the skin type or um, because of the fact that I do generally gravitate towards more matte based products, but I did not have that issue. So hmm, I don't know. So it came with the foundation. It came with a sponge, which I thought was really cool. So I'm just gonna pop that little guy out. Oh, that is so cute. Okay, so it actually has the Urban Decay logo right there. I don't know if you can see. How cute. I just wanna eat it. <laughs> it is quite large. If I compare it like to my eye, I mean, it is pretty, it's it's dense, but it's squishy. Yeah, it's big. It's a, it's definitely a bigger, big beauty blender. The next thing they got me was this little card, which is where the clips were initially on. So it just has Urban Decay on it. Beauty. And of course their famous all nighter spray. It couldn't be an Urban Decay PR without the key stapled ingredients. Now, fun fact, I actually haven't used the Urban Decay all nighter spray since I was in high school. And it was because I got it in a stocking stuffer, but I'm super excited to be able to have one again. Yeah, I'm actually quite happy about this package in general just because it's been a minute and I feel like I was spoiled at the right time. So thank you, Urban, for spoiling me. Beautiful. Smells like money. <laughs> Love Urban for that. This is where the clips were. Beauty. I always say that because I love that. I mean, this is just, you can't, you can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. So yeah, so this was what was in the box. 
just overall a huge, huge shout out to Urban Decay because they have fulfilled my dreams as a young makeup artist as I have always wanted to receive a PR. So to receive this was just a dream come true. So lots of love. Love you guys. Now for the review. This is what the face bound looks like. So this is the actual packaging. Now I was very hesitant. They originally asked us to pick three shades and I was more of a cool shade tone. And honestly, I was hesitant too because I wasn't sure if it would oxidate, if it would be too dark, if it would be too light, but it ended out perfect. First applied it on, I was very scared to see if it was too light. It was quite literally spot on skindation. I have found my replacement. It's 410, so we're gonna see how it stays throughout the night and I'm gonna update you guys. But so far, I can't even tell that I have foundation and I'm not uncomfortable. Usually by the third hour, I'm like, meh. So I got this in the shade Light Cool. Now, initially when I first opened the box, I actually opened it while recording. I was pretty shocked, I'm not gonna lie. I thought it was a little small, but this is meant to be a no waste foundation. So the applicator itself is this little small, like a drop. So it actually, if you can tell, there's this fine line right here. So right here in the center, there's actually that little fine, it looks like a straw. It's applying the foundation. Something that I noticed about this foundation when I was applying it is the fact that when I was applying it, there was no leftover residue. Like whatever I applied was applied and whatever did stay went back in the bottle. Now I do feel like this is around the same. I mean, ounces wise, how many ounces is this? Three millimeter, about one FL ounce. So, okay, so it's 30 ml, whatever that means. <laughs> But I mean, at the end of the day, like it's probably just as much, okay, everything's falling out of my hand today. Okay. It's probably just as much as a regular foundation in the sense that there's not so much thicker packaging. Even though I got this in a PR, spend my money and buy another one. I would. The overall packaging is so freaking adorable. I mean, it, it just doesn't get any cuter than that. Like nobody can tell me anything. Like I, I'm on a high right now. <laughs> I mean, just overall, the packaging, the presentation, the application, it's a win all overall for me. Have a little sister, you have to give everything to her. If you haven't already, or if you're considering trying this foundation, 110%, you have to try it. You have to give it a try. This box I have had for quite literally two weeks now. I have not been able to do any content. As you guys know, I am a student. Um, it literally fits the box. Her. We love it. I don't know why I'm obsessed with the packaging. Like it is straightforward. It is to the point. I mean, look at this. We have this where to purchase it. We have the foundation itself, a sponge, some clippies. Oh, I'm gonna have to put the clips. I gotta switch these out. And the, the all nighter spray. It is literally a staple. So we know that you can get it first at Sephora. 40 shades. 40 shades. Almost like a serum, so you don't have to set this foundation with any kind of powder, which quite frankly, for somebody that has oily skin that's acne prone, I need it. There are several ways that you can actually apply this to get the best coverage. One of them being um, your hands, the other one being the sponge, and then the third one being a brush. So three ways in total that you can apply this foundation. Your hands, which gives you the fullest coverage. The beauty blender, which is the one they gave me, which will give you more of a sheer base coverage. And lastly, a brush. I honestly have always loved Urban. Actually, I believe my first ever eyeshadow was from Urban Decay. It was the, I was a flame. I think it was the Naked Palette. Let's dive into this. My skin is, well, it's said that you're supposed to have your skincare already prepped. I have already tried to fix this lash and I honestly legit don't know what happened. So we're just gonna ignore it. So moving on to the actual foundation portion. So I did a Urban Decay eyeshadow inspired look. Her. I feel like it reminds me of the, the, the Space Cowboy eyeshadow, if you're familiar with it. It is this bomb, like, iridescent color, and I was just like, yeah, I'm feeling this. Cool. Now, I don't know how light or how dark it's gonna be. A little shake. Even though they don't look the same, MAC has this thick glass around it to make it look a little bigger. So, let's see. First reaction, it's beautiful. Like, cool. So, I'm not gonna be using the sponge because I really, I really want a full coverage beat. Look how adorable these are. Are you kidding? Urban, you never miss. If you would like to see how I apply the other ways of applying this foundation, I suggest that you check out my other social medias. All right, let's see. Is this a pop-up? Oh, okay. It's a take off. It's a pop-up, not a twist. So this is what the applicator looks like. It's like a drop. I am going to directly apply it straight from the foundation onto my face and then use my fingers. Um, I don't have any of my rings on. Lately, I haven't been wearing jewelry on my hand when I do my makeup videos solely because I don't want to get any makeup on it. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. 
Okay, literally, one of my pet peeves before I even start blending this, I love how there's nothing, no foundation. Like, it's this tiny little amount right here, this nozzle. I love that. No shade, no hate. But I hate when I get this residue on my foundations. Like, it just, it wastes a product. But look at this. It's basically clean like I'd ever used it. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, now taking my hands. They are clean. I'm going to start that it's more matte, especially as a girl who's really oily. Let's see how it does with getting rid of this hyperpigmentation. The color is incredible. They actually have six undertones, if I didn't mention that before. Look at that. Okay, it's lightweight. Like, it almost feels like a liquid moisturizer. Oh, wow. It completely got rid of my hyperpigmentation on my right-hand side. The color makes it look like skindation. I'm obsessed. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. And this is natural lighting, by the way. I really wanted to see its full potential. I don't feel like I have anything. Look at that. I barely have any product on my fingers, so it's really on my face. Okay. I don't feel like I have anything on my face. Take my money. Take my money right now. That's insane. I mean, and it's matte. It looks like skindation. Take my money. Pause. Because didn't I just say a couple months ago that I was looking for a foundation that's lightweight, but that's full coverage. That gives me a skindation feel. Didn't I say that? I could have sworn I said that in a couple of one of my videos. I did. I did. I think I may have found it. Period. I have to say, I mean, even just the looking from my complexion, like my neck to my, because I am more cool tone, it's really hard to find something that doesn't make me look really orangey. Um, look at my skin. I'm going to go off camera really quickly and finish the rest of my makeup just to see how it plays. And then we will see. Yeah. Yeah. Stay tuned. Of course, with that, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did making it. Again, thank you to Urban Decay for sending me this. It's a dream come true, put it that way. And honestly, it was amazing just being able to review it. And now I have a new foundation that I can cling on to. Please don't get rid of this one, please. If you get rid of this one, I don't know. This might be my final straw. <laughs> honestly obsessed and if you try this tag me in it or let me know in the comments down below because i would love to know your thoughts and how you feel look how freaking cute this is oh and really quickly my girl kelly sidham they're garden themes so yes they're on theme for the summertime and that i will see you guys next time bye